Hello YouTube, welcome to a quick video. Uh, I didn't really plan this one out too much so uh, I didn't really make enough footage for it fully but I just wanted to show um, that it's possible to use an EV to go you know really quite long distances so we've just recently um, gone to the Netherlands for a holiday um, and we decided to to drive over uh, do it all electric um, we went on the uh, Euro Tunnel as well, so we didn't uh, didn't go on any ships or anything. So it was all electric all the way, uh, and our our Tesla is just a standard range plus. It's not even a long range. Um, so when it's fully charged, it's got a range of just over 200 miles. I think it currently says about 210 ish, something like that, when it's fully charged. Um, and I just wanted to show that that you know that is really enough to be able to go pretty much anywhere you want to go um, so um, I was so relaxed about the whole thing that I didn't bother to even charge the car uh, to a hundred percent before we left uh, what it had in it was uh, I think it was about 160 miles something like that which was just what we happened to be able to dump in from spare solar um, because I didn't want to break my uh, off-grid streak so I didn't want to charge off the grid during the night but I could have if I you know if, it, if that hadn't been so important to me but um, <clears throat> uh, 160 miles was enough to get down to the um, uh, the terminal uh, at Folkestone for the Euro tunnel and there are some Tesla superchargers there so the plan originally was to just drive down uh, to Folkestone and then while we were waiting for our train um, through the tunnel we just put the car on the superchargers let it charge up uh, and then once we got off at the other side we'd have enough to get uh, probably somewhere into Belgium and then we do one charge somewhere in Belgium and then the rest of the way would get us to the Netherlands so that was the original plan and um, yeah so we started out like that and uh, here's a bit of footage that I did make on the way so we decided to stop here at the Maidstone Superchargers just for 10 minutes, just to just to have a little top up, just in case the all the superchargers at the um, uh, Euro Tunnel port are, are full. We just want to make sure we've got enough that we can get to a supercharger on the other side. So we're literally stopping for 10 minutes, uh, and then we'll be back on our way. at Bruges Superchargers and we're just getting a top up now to get us the rest of the way uh, and this is the last stop we need to do the, before we get to the Netherlands so um, and where we're going so really that's been that's been it just two stops um, and it's been no more difficult than, than using a petrol car so um, yeah considering this is just a standard range plus it's not even a long range we're not having any trouble at all so it just goes to show that it's doable but um, yeah we'll carry on and uh, we'll report again when we get there <clears throat> so I forgot to do some footage of uh, uh, what what the stats were when we finally arrived um, like I say I didn't I didn't plan this one very well it was a kind of a spur of the moment thing but when we arrived I think we had about I think I had something like about 25% left in the battery um, and so where we were staying we just um, plugged the car in uh, to uh, a normal socket using the uh, three pin adapter um, that comes with the car um, set, set the charge rate really low to something like six amps so it's only pulling about 1400 watts um, 
so as not to sort of cause too much of a draw on any circuits or anything and and then just left it trickling away like that while we were there um and um so that it would be you know pretty much full by the time we we wanted to leave i could equally have just traveled to one of the near nearby superchargers and just done a quick uh you know 20 30 minute supercharge and got it up to full uh, but uh, as as we weren't going to be using it while we were where we were it it made sense to just leave it uh, on charge so it had a full charge when we left uh, and so yeah um, you can see um, in the next bit of footage uh, what what the range was just just about the moment we left um, and then um, we uh, set on our way back and the plan was to uh, charge I think somewhere again in uh, near the Belgium France border which would be when we're sort of getting low and uh, and then again when we get to the um, Euro tunnel terminal to just put the car on charge there uh, for a little bit while we're waiting for the train and that would give us enough when we got off up the other side on the UK side to, to, to get all the way back home so no real impact on our journey time um, like I say these were the plans and uh, uh, it didn't quite go according to plan because um, uh, there were some delays and some other problems but uh, those sort of things would have happened to us whether we were in an EV or in a petrol car so um, yeah the best laid plans etc uh, but yeah it was all doable that's the main thing <coughs> go it is doable uh, you can have a, st a standard range plus Tesla Model 3 uh, and you know drive you know significant distances without any real problems at all to be honest you know we uh, we ended up stopping more than we intended mostly because people needed the toilet rather than the fact that we had to charge the one problem I would say with uh, some of the supercharger network uh, for Tesla's is that they they tend to be not at sort of service areas. They tend to be sort of out the way on, on um, just in the middle of nowhere, uh, and 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 it means that if you're stopping to charge, you know it makes sense for you to be able to go to the toilet so that you can carry on your journey and stuff. But there's often no facilities available in those areas now. You know, in some places they do they do line up. You know, there's a Tesla supercharger at some motorway services all right by a McDonald's or something like that but not always and that's the one downside to them I think now you don't have to use the Tesla superchargers I could have used the Ionity chargers um, I could have used um, Fastened or various other ones that are available on on Europe uh, in Europe and that are on sort of motorway service areas um, but um, to use the Tesla, uh, Tesla superchargers is just uh, a bit more convenient because um, you you can just plug the car in and and it just starts charging. You don't have to use any credit cards or anything like that on the machines, uh, and also the car knows about them, so it, it'll automatically plan you to the next one. If it thinks you're not going to get where you're going, it will route you to a supercharger that's nearby because it just knows about them and which ones are free, etc. So. Uh, there's a little bit of swings and roundabouts, but yeah, um, in a perfect world, there, there would be facilities at every supercharger area where, where you could go to the toilet and uh, grab a drink or whatever, but there, there just isn't necessarily. So that was the only real sort of downside um, to the whole thing. But 
it was possible we did it all all electric um, so uh, I was quite pleased with it. it was a good experiment but there you go you don't need to have a Tesla long range to do this sort of thing you can do it with a standard range plus So yeah, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next video. Cheers.